Hello, in this video, we will see how a uh, three-dimensional Fermi surface can be visualized in cinemas using its uh, visualizer component cinemas view. Cinemas can visualize uh, Fermi surface in two ways. Uh, a user can either uh, perform the actual Fermi surface calculations using WASP uh, within cinemas itself and also uh, calculations performed somewhere else can be imported as a folder into cinemas uh, which will be displayed as a graphical workflow and from there uh, cinemas can visualize Fermi surface in its component cinemas view so let's see how we can do it so I'm loading the project cinemas project where I have already calculated uh, Fermi surface uh, for non-magnetic aluminum using WASP so I'm opening the project So now this is uh, this is a calculations which I have already performed uh, in cinemas using WASP. As I mentioned, if a user is interested, you can import the calculation from a directory. So let's say from here this time I am going to uh, import copper Fermi surface calculation, and this has been loaded. So one can consider either performing the actual Fermi surface calculations using cinemas or they can be imported into cinemas and further post-processing can be performed. So in this in this tutorial we are going to consider aluminum not magnetic case. So let's start. Uh, first we need to switch to uh, cinemas view. Now cinemas views the cinemas view uh, shows you the actual uh, structure which can be from the Oscar file it can be so this tree shows you all the uh, files which can be visualized in cinemas all the file formats which are supported now in order to visualize the Fermi surface let's go to the toolbar and click this button which says FS which stands for Fermi surface once I click this button on the toolbar uh, this will display some information about the system so it says that uh, your calculation has uh, six number of bands uh, this is the Fermi energy value and your system is non-magnetic now it also tells you that uh, uh, bands crossing the Fermi level or bands not crossing the Fermi level and it also tells you that which uh, band index is uh, crossing and not crossing now so I would be interested in first I would be interested in visualizing which bands are crossing Fermi level which is actually Fermi surface so I can select either the entire group of bands which are crossing Fermi level or I can individually select the bands uh, like this so right now I'm going to select uh, the entire group because there are only two bands when I click OK now your entire cinema's view screen switches to Fermi surface. Now as you can see we selected band number 2 and band number 3. So here you can see this is band number 2, this is band number 3, this is Fermi surface for band number 2, this is Fermi surface for band number 3 and this is a merged view of both the band 2 and the band 3. Uh, let's explain the toolbar a little bit. This is and uh, this is a simple rotation tool uh, using this button you can just translate your view uh, wherever you want and you can position it then with this you can set your uh, lighting parameter whichever uh, lighting settings you are happy with and then this is export graphics you can save this particular visualization in several image formats now this button sends your uh, graphics which you see on screen to cinemas draw where you can prepare a publication quality figure and then of the tutorial we will talk about it and this is close button which does nothing but switches you back to the uh, structure visualizer a structural or volumetric visualizer 
and then on the right side we see some style options using these using this style options we can uh, we can toggle between different uh, modes of Fermi surface view also we can we can we can apply uh, several style settings on our visualizations now this is our band 2 so the, by default you see Fermi surface in a reciprocal unit cell however you can switch to uh, Fermi surface in in blue zone uh, you can see uh, you also can see the blue zone and in blue zone and inside the blue zone you can see the Fermi surface you can also see it you can see the Fermi surface in a uh, in a repeated uh, you can see the repeated Fermi surface in blue zone also depending upon your choice the mode can be toggle between so I am selecting surface in blue zone now when we go little low we can see uh, different style options you can see that there are line thickness you can change also whether you want to see this box of whether it's yes, a reciprocal unit cell or whether the box of blue zone you would like to see or not accordingly this checkbox can be used you can change the line thickness as well as you can change the line type you can also change the line color I'll switch it back to black you can also change the color of your Fermi surface it depends upon your choice now here you can also change the type of the surface so now from the solid surface you could change it to a wire kind of surface or you can also see the dotted surface uh, they're not really visible because the number of points are not that great in this particular calculation however we could use make use of this interpolation feature you would see now so now however your calculation has very uh, very less number of points very small number of points uh, but cinemas has its inbuilt interpolation uh, feature where you can interpolate between the data points up to the scale of 6 now this tells you how to do it and also now the dotted surface can be visualized let's switch it back to solid surface and also let's get back to the original data points so this is your band 2 and I have explained to you how different modes can be switched between also how to apply the style settings that's how your uh, band number 3 looks like uh, let's change its color so that we can distinguish between the two two bands let's see how does if I change the light settings how good can it look yep and this is your merged band this is the merged view of the two bands which is band number two and band number three so you can see how conveni conveniently you can vis uh, visualize uh, a Fermi surface of a system in cinemas now the most important thing would be uh, how can we make a publication quality figure from here so there are two ways either you can uh, use this export graphics and you can save your graphics into image format that is png and jpg or you can quickly switch back to cinemas draw which is an inbuilt component to uh, component to make 
publication quality figure within cinemas itself without any need to switch to any other application. Now here you can see the entire screen, whatever graphics you could see on your screen have been exported to cinemas draw where you can further make a good figure. So let's see, let me uh, readjust the canvas. And I can quickly add some text, for example, I can just say aluminum uh, non magnetic surface. Then I can go to the style options. I can increase the font to let's say something big, no, maybe bigger. Then let's say whether you would like to see a line around it okay I would like to see I would like to make the edges a little bit round then I can also change the shadow property change the type of shadow as well see you can select the image and you can reposition it now you see that this has come up and my text has gone behind so this explains uh, now let me explain this feature in cinemas draw usually in, in in a paint application you won't see the depth feature of objects However, similar feature can be seen in, in some application like PowerPoint. So here we have this depth enabling uh, in Cinema's Draw, where by selecting bring to front or send to back option, you can choose the position of your objects. So if you have multiple ob drawing objects overlapping each other, you can adjust their depth, how you would like to see them. If you want, you can further adjust the canvas size okay now let's quickly save this file I can choose which format in which format I want to save this file okay now let us save this file uh, let us save this uh, graphics uh, to the disk you can click save graphics and then you can choose a location i am choosing a location some of my choice let's give it a name surface test and save it now this is going to ask you scale factor so cinemas also allows you to save your graphics save your graphics with the scaling factor where uh, and cinemas allows you to scale and save your graphics up to 30 times uh, just for an example let me put two click ok now let's switch to this location and you can see that Fermi surface test is available here and that's how it looks when it's scaled you can have a look at the quality of the graphics Let's switch back to cinemas. Let's switch back to cascade. So in this tutorial, uh, I have explained you how you can visualize three-dimensional Fermi surface in cinemas and also export the graphics to cinemas draw, uh, further modify them and save them uh, at par with a publication quality figure. This would be all for this tutorial. Thank you so much for your attention.